I now want to take a look at the concepts of utilizing Azure audit logs. So the first thing I want to tell you about Azure audit logs is that there's a bunch of them. You will find them in different places and they can be very helpful for keeping the track of the goings on that are happening in Azure, especially if you're trying to troubleshoot something or look up something suspicious. But the main thing is you need to understand that um, there are there are general uh, audit logs that you can look at, but there are also audit logs that are specific to whatever feature in Azure that you're currently uh, you're currently honed in on and working with. All right. So let me show you kind of what I'm talking about. Let's let's start right here. We're on portal.azure.com. We're going to go to the menu button here and go to Azure Active Directory. Okay. So if we scroll down right here on the left, you've got the audit logs blade uh, right up under monitoring. And this is going to be just your general uh, audit log. You can see everything that's happened in the last month, last seven days, 24 hours, whatever it may be. Um, you can set the time from local to UTC. You can even uh, break this down filter by particular um, uh, services that maybe you want to look at. Okay. All right. Like I could look at access reviews. Um, you know, anytime a user is performing an access review, if I wanted to work, look at core directory services like user management, all that I could. I can also specify categories, things maybe I want to look at. And um, so you could break this down based on a particular category, as you can see this category area here, that it would fall under whatever particular uh, log entry you're looking for. And then you can look at activities as well. So there's all sorts. This is a huge list of activities. You can actually do a keyword search right here if you really want to. Okay, But lots of stuff there I could take a look at, like user provisioning, creating user accounts, things like that updating a user great you know great way to kind of filter things and if you want to even go further with it you can say add filter and there's a few other little options there that you can you can go uh, get into so if I kind of look down through here um, you can see main thing I've got here is core directory and you'll see I've got some user management stuff I've got an update user all right so if I click that I can see activity was update user um, correlation ID is just a GUID number. Every, pretty much every uh, activity you perform will get a globally unique identifier assigned to it. Um, and this is important because if you were working with Microsoft uh, Help Desk or something, they'd want to know what that ID was so they could find that specific one uh, involved in whatever task it was that was happening. Okay. Uh, you can look at the activities here. You can look at the targets, whatever uh, ID that that is associated with in this case we're looking at a user a user principal name and then if there's modified properties what exactly was modified right um, and of course it it breaks it down right over here on the right shows the old value shows the new value okay and um, in this case you can try and get to the bottom of maybe what what was going on okay with this particular activity. So in this activity, it was a user management update user. So there was a, a something that was modified here. And, it, and really all that was modified was a time interval where it was uh, the last time this user was logged on. So this was an automated thing. This wasn't a user. It wasn't actually done by an admin. Okay. Um, but as you, you go down through here, you can see these different uh, dates and times where things have occurred. Um, you can see here that I was actually creating a label called Top Secret for another video um, in my tenant uh, a while back. And basically, it's showing you what the label was called, um, the time, date and time that it occurred. All right, target I was creating a label called Top Secret. The activity was a success, so it did successfully go through. But, you know, very helpful. Here's an example of a a guest user account being removed so there's a guest user being removed but if you kinda of look through here you can see all these different targets of things that occurred if you were looking for something in particular you could very easily you know kinda of hone in on what you're trying to find and uh, and determine exactly what action was taken all in all it's, pr it's a pretty straightforward logging uh, mechanism I don't think you'll find it to be too difficult. You can download this as a CSV file like a lot of the other uh, things that they've made available in Azure, a lot of the other logging features. 
But again, this was the general log for Azure Active Directory. The last thing I want to show you is that, you know, I can click on individual users, the users blade, and notice there's a log just dedicated to individual users. You have a, another one for groups. So if you come over here to groups and you look at the audit log for that, you'll see I've got nothing really that's been done in the last month to any of my groups. So as you can see, there's nothing there, but um, I could adjust the, you know, the time period and go further back. So again, main thing there is remember that as you are clicking around on these different blades, the different features that you're interacting with, you may have an audit log dedicated to that. So you, you can kind of investigate, but you can always use the general Azure AD catch-all log, which is right here on the main Azure Active Directory uh, um, screen here, the uh, main menu screen. All you got to do is just go straight into Azure Active Directory, scroll down on the left, and you'll see it right here. Okay. But all in all, again, there's not too much that's difficult about understanding audit logs in Azure. Um, they're, they're pretty straightforward. The main thing is just remembering how to get there and also remember that you can filter and that the different features of Azure do, do have their own audit logs sometimes. This is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I want you to know that I'm trying really hard to grow this channel, so I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. Also, if you'll check the description in this video, I've got a link for you that can show you how you can get access to all my different courses. I have lots of different Microsoft certification courses that'll help you pass your exam. All right, thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope to see you again.